Okay, today I want to take a look at the moon. It's shown up in so many of the readings about the aliens. Um, let's just take a look at it. Kind of a deep dive on the moon. Rough Riders 17 was the random word and number. But what I want to do, let's just, let's just see what the hell is going on. What, what is the moon, I suppose, is the first question. Or, you know, is it just this natural fucking thing? Or, like, what do we have? Or is it some other shit? Okay. Okay. So, we get a reverse ten of swords over the eight of swords. Now, in the eight of swords you can see the moon fucking with the person's head, right? Uh, so the moon definitely influences us. We know this because it, it uh, provides kind of the rhythm of Earth with the tides, and then everything kind of goes from there. But we've got the waxing and waning cycle and all of that shit and the tides. Now here, it does show... It influencing our heads. All of the alien readings have suggested this as well. They have suggested that there's a freaking alien base on the moon. Now, what I, I really want to find out is if, if something has taken over our natural satellite, which would be the moon, or if the moon is some other shit if it was put there. Right? Now, all right. Let's go back. Ten of Swords reversed. Huh. That's funny, because when uh, I did the reading, I guess yesterday, about whether or not um, contact with aliens could be good, this is exactly how it showed up. It was a reverse Ten of Swords. Um, the Ten of Swords... In relation to the moon, now normally the Ten of Swords, right? This is about um, a, uh, old, it's trauma. So the person tried to hide from all the scary swords and they hid in this little box and they got punctured by the swords anyway. Showing how there's some things that you can't ignore and they will catch up to you and fucking blow up in your face. Now, when this thing is reversed, I usually read that in personal readings as old trauma. So like something that happened when you were a kid or whatever. Now, there's something about a thing being trapped in there and also the thing not being very comfortable. That has shown up in these readings as well. Like the, the other entities, and you can call them fucking angels or demons or the djinn or aliens. I think they're all the same. And they don't want to be here. Um, and it's not comfortable for them to be here. So, this looks like maybe something is trapped in there. Or somehow the core of the moon is just uh, traumatic. You know, like there's some trauma that just fucking shoots out of it. Because it's like the trauma realm. Um, or something. Now, okay, so I'm going to look around this and try to see if we can find out more. So we'll do what leads up to this and where it goes. Okay, leading up to the reverse 10 is the Six of Cups. And it moves toward a reversed four. Now, it's interesting because these are both emotional cards, okay? And the Six of Cups, this is the old story. This is good versus evil, you know? It's really about memory and sort of telling old stories. Um, and normally, if, if a person were coming to me for a reading... And this card comes up. It's like, well, just know that the way that you remember things or the story that you tell to yourself is probably 
not really true. You know, it's like exaggerated or distorted, just like this plain good versus evil that shows in the Six of Cups. Um, this kind of goes into what I was saying earlier, though, about angels and demons and how that that's the same thing. It's aliens. It's like saying soda or pop or Coke, you know. I don't believe in soda, but let me tell you stories about pop. Um, so we've got these things. This is what I'm taking out of it. We've got the angels and demons or whatever the fuck. So it's like they get stuck. And here, what it leads to, four of cups reversed. So this is boredom, emotional stagnation, because they want to be on that ship getting the fuck out of there. And in the four, they're actually not trapped. They got the key right there. You see that key that's hanging off? Whoop. Um, so they do have the key to get out of the tower. They're just not using it. Because at this point, they're like, sulking is fine. And they want to be on this ship. Let's get the fuck out of here. Now, this thing being upside down normally shows when they actually do get out of there. So, if this is showing beings trapped on the moon, they this also says that they will eventually just be tired of being here and do whatever it takes to actually get the fuck out. Um, and I guess that's good for them. So, this is going to be more of a yes or no question, I think. But the question I, I have is, is, is the moon our natural satellite? Was it put there by whatever forces, you know, um, created the Earth and all of that? And there is the devil. Oh, boy. I mean, huh, let me just contemplate this. Hmm. As far as a yes or no, to the question of is it our natural satellite, the, the, to me the devil says... It, it doesn't necessarily matter. Um, I mean, you could definitely take this to mean that it's, it's a fucking alien base, it's an alien craft, and they move that fucker here. And there are things about our moon that are very, very strange. Like the fact that we never see the backside. They call it the dark side, which is not true, because the sun hits that side too. We just never, ever see it. And we only see one side of the moon ever. That in itself is very, very strange. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not a natural thing, because the universe is pretty fucking weird, right? The devil. Huh. There's something that I'm kind of feeling about this. Now, maybe... The moon. So when when we talk about hell, um, maybe that's the moon. You know, maybe that is the place. Because in my understanding of of hell and these various afterlife places, even the place that we're in now, that place is made real by a bunch of different spirits that are going through similar things, and they kind of conglomerate. You know. And the, it's, it's the substance is formed because there's so much spirit that is like conglomerating in the same place, going through a similar thing. Um, and that's what gives the various sections of hell their shape. And maybe the moon is just such a place. So if your spirit goes to the moon, that might be really bad. Because um, looking at this... It doesn't look like a particularly good place to get stuck. <sighs> the 
devil. All right. So this is reinforcing what I have come to believe, which is that the, you know, the moon is a base for the angel, demon, jinn, alien, elemental, whatever the fuck you want to call it. These things. Um, the non-humans that are here, they're like all around. Everybody has stories about them in some way or another. All right, so where do we go from here? I guess the question that I'm going to have is, has it always been there, being the moon? Is this something that is recent? Has it been there, uh, okay, let's say 10 million years, right? Just to throw a fucking number out there. Has it been there for 10 million years? And we get the Ten of Pentacles. This is Inheritance. I mean, if this is a yes or no, I would say that this is a yes, right? But this is what is passed from one generation to the next. I would take that as a yes. This is also like the castle, right? Um, so I think so. Which, which means that if, if it isn't like natural, formed with the earth and all the other shit in our solar system, it's at least been here so long that it might as well be, right? Okay. Um, boy, I, I, how many, how many different types of creatures are on it, on the moon? How many different types of creatures are there? Um, and I'm talking about different species, right? Page of Pentacles, which is a non-answer. Well, not exactly. So the Page of Pentacles is a student. Um, so it might, maybe it's a school. It Well, truly, all right, this is going to go directly back to hell, right? Hell is not a place where you go to be punished. Heaven is not a place that you go to be rewarded. Heaven is a place that you go to learn something, and so is hell. You go to hell to learn a thing, to fucking work through some shit. It's like a school. It's like a really, really weird school. But um, you could argue that Earth is the same way. Now, here, this is also like... A young student, right? So maybe the moon is something like uh, a military school, right? I mean, people wouldn't really want to be in military school forever. Um, and it's, maybe it's like a school where these things go to work on their shit, Um fascinating. And my school was definitely uh, akin to hell, right? I have uh, hell dreams about that place still, so I can see how this would be a thing. Mm. All right. Is there a device in the moon? Is there a device within the moon that is used to do this or is it the whole fucking thing is it just the way it interacts with our planet so is there a device a thing within the thing unclear this would be a, a big fat unclear and the nine of swords is is showing anxiety and fear Here's the little dude. It's like he's a backbiter. He's biting the back. We do have a perhaps dead cat on the bed. Um, I wouldn't say that this means, yes, there is a, like a device within it. Um, I wouldn't really say that it means no either. Which, now, what that means to me is that the question itself doesn't make any sense. Um, because the nature of this whole situation 
is, you know, it's not like I have any fucking facts to go on. Um, so, I guess. Unclear some weird stuff. Just some fucking weird stuff. Okay. Now, uh, within the next 20 Earth years, 20, right? And right now it's 2022, so we're talking up to 2042. Is there going to be some massive event with the moon? And if I were to say yes or no, the Five of Swords is probably saying no. Um, but the Five of Swords is all about insult. I mean, this this seems to be the kind of energy that the, the card show, like, always comes up. But what, what I'm thinking of is, like, if the energy coming from the moon just gets so great that it cannot be denied and it causes some fucking pivot point... Um, or the, the things start coming down from there in in droves. Um, but a five of swords. Now what's really happening here, this is a soldier, and the soldier invaded the city. And here you can see the white flag in the back because the people of the city have surrendered. And the soldier, he takes all their weapons. He knows they can't do anything and he's taunting them. Um, so if this is a yes... It would be a situation where we probably wouldn't be able to do anything about it. We would surrender, and whatever it was that came from the moon would would be like, uh, you guys suck. I don't exactly know where to go from here, but this reading did seem to reinforce a theory that has been forming about the moon being some sort of fucking alien base. Aliens, devils, demons, all the same thing. Um. <clears throat> right. If you have any ideas on any of these cards, or if you have an angle that you want me to look at that I am not thinking of at this time, feel free to leave a comment. Um, I would love to hear any of those or any personal ideas that you have about this. And that's what we have for now. Peace.